In this video, we're going to use the filter function in Microsoft Excel to create a filter that updates automatically as you type in a search cell. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have a data set of orders to the left here. In the second column, I have the client names. Over here, I have a search box. So when I start typing a client name, it's going to pull back all of the records that contain this text that I search on and it updates automatically as I type so if I want to find anything that contains LLC in the client name it'll pull back all of those matches now if you have an older version of Excel that does not have the filter function I put a link in the description of this video where you can create the equivalent of this without the filter function so just click on that link and there's a video on how to set up the equivalent of this. Before we begin, you want to make sure that the developer ribbon is visible up top here. If it is not, what you can do is right click on any of these other ribbon titles that are visible and go to Customize Ribbon and check the developer ribbon box here and click OK. So the first thing we want to do is add our search box to our sheet. So I'm going to go up to the developer ribbon here. I'm going to go to insert, come down to active X controls, and there's an option here for text box. So then you'll draw this in on your sheet. And the next thing we want to do is right click on this text box, go to properties. In this properties window, about midway down is an option to link it to a cell. So just link it to a cell. I'm going to link it to cell H2. Close out of that. Now, currently, this box is in design mode. So to be able to start typing into it we need to get it out of design mode so I'm gonna click this design mode box and when I start typing whatever I type is gonna show up in this linked cell here so what I'm gonna do is put this back in design mode and put this over the cell that is linked to because we really just want to see this text box without an additional cell showing what we just typed. So next I want to make sure that I'm not in design mode so I'm gonna click on this to get out of design mode and we're gonna begin inputting our filter function. So the first input is the array we want to filter on. It's gonna be this entire range of cells here. Next, we input the criteria for our filter. So we're going to use the isNumber function. And I'll explain how all of this works when I'm done inputting the entire formula. So just bear with me. Next, we're going to use the search function. Our first input, the criteria, is going to be our linked cell. So that's H2. Our next input is what we want to search for this value in. That is going to be our criteria column, the client name column. So I'm going to close this out and you can see we get our results based on all the matches of client names that contain LLC. If I change this to something else it's going to update automatically. So how this works is the search function takes our search value which right now is group looks for the word group in each of these cells here in each of these strings and if there is a match it returns the number position of where group starts so the is number function simply returns true if something is a number if it is not it returns false so that is essentially the criteria for our filter all of the trues where an is number a number is returned for the search and that is our filter output 
So what we could also do is include our headers in our filter. So we could use the vStack function, which vertically stacks arrays with the same number of columns, one on top of the other. So we can simply just go grab our first row of headers and add a comma and join it to our filter output. So now we have our headers. Now, another thing I'd like to point out is if you empty out your search box, it's going to return everything. And you may be good with that, but if you don't want it to return everything, what we can do is nest this within an if condition and reference our linked cell H2 and say if it is equal to nothing, then we want to return nothing. Otherwise, we want to return our filter output. The final thing I want to point out is if you type something that is not found, you're going to get this error message. And maybe you want a custom message. So we can use the if error function. The first input is what we already have here is our formula. The second input is the message we want to return if nothing is found or if there's an error. We can add something like no records found. And there it is. Well, that is all for now. See you in the next one.